all the nappiness once again welcome back I am back with another 12 by 12 process video using oh my goodness I'm so sad to say this but it is the very last gossamer blue kit here and I am sharing a little bit of the papers that I am using so um, for the month of August I decided to mix up all the uh, so all the kits actually um, we received three kits that month uh, they were the TN kit the project life kit and then the main kit um, we didn't get a planner kit and so I mixed it all up and I decided that I was going to uh, create a layout with all the pretty colors but first may I please introduce to all of you guys my little kitty here her name is June or also June bug and she is adorable she's playful she's trouble and she loves my desk as you can see here um, so there she goes um, like I was saying though um, I uh, was going to create a layout of a photo of my son and my husband so here it is um, and I'm using this paper here it's got a bunch of uh, like colored squares I guess there are diamonds um, I really loved how it faded from color as you can see there into like complete gray so I kind of wanted to I had an idea to um, like cut them apart and kind of create like a gradient so you know it is a gradient obviously and I kind of wanted to create recreate that on my paper um, just kind of spaced out a little bit more and that's what you see me doing here um, I'm going to be cutting them a little at a time and then figure out what works best and that's the photo I'm using of my son and his dad uh, this was last November and we went to the aquarium we took him for the first time and I snapped this quick photo of them and I just love how it looks in black and white it's such a sweet photo of them and the colors in the kit uh, for the month of August were perfect so you know it was awesome um, that month I created three projects I believe I've already shared the travelers notebook and then I do have one more um, coming for you for you guys um, as soon as I get it uh, uploaded which should be very soon um, and so also again I should mention this is from August I'm quite behind and you guys know that so I'm just giving you guys a little reminder there um, but you know what? I hope you guys have been enjoying the videos that I've been uploading. Um, you know, it's been a constant upload every Tuesday and Saturday. Um, I've been considering adding a third day during the week, but there's times when I'm just busy and I am not recording as much or even creating as much. Um, so I'm just going to keep it at two days a week. And I hope that's okay for you guys. I think that's enough you know it's a constant uploading um, you know there's a constant uh, what do you call it like there's always content for you guys basically so Tuesdays and Saturdays you know will continue being my upload days and so you know if you guys are liking it please leave me a comment below I would love to hear your input um, like I said I do occasionally you know come in three times a week uh, it just depends on what projects need to be, you know, um, uploaded sooner than others. Some of these are more into, you know, like uh, older ones, you know, that weren't. And then there's some that have deadlines that need to be up on time. So, anywho, you guys see me here. I'm creating that gradient. And what I'm doing, I actually ended up flipping it over. I wanted the gradient to go from the colors at the top down to the gray the grayscale ones at the bottom and that actually looks way better than when it was um, flipped around and I had the gradient at the bottom going up so I kinda like this one a little bit better and so uh, I'm just gonna be popping up a few of them and then some of them will be uh, just flat on the paper I feel like it just gives a little extra dimension there and I love it like this paper is so fun as soon as I saw it I knew that I was going to do something like this with it because I just loved that color that you know gradient it's great 
So I'm going to be backing my photo here and I'm out of staples so I think that's what I'm refilling. See my son there, he loves joining me every once in a while. See what's up with my videos or with my scrapbooking and what it is I'm recording that day. He loves it. I love seeing him in the videos. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm just like getting distracted by watching what he's doing there. It's been quite a while since I actually made this process. So um, I'm going to be now bringing in, so I backed my photo, I should say, first. I backed my photo with um, two cards. So one of them was a Project Life card and it's that pretty striped one. And then the other one was like a grid card, but that wasn't from the um, Life Pages kit. It was actually from the Cut Apart sheet that you guys saw me show at the beginning of the video. So we've got like balls on the table now. Holy moly. Um, and it's taking me quite a little bit to figure out what it is I'm going to use. Uh, the colors were pretty um, dark. So picking the right embellishments was a little bit tricky for me this time around. Um, and then again, uh, you know, I'm working with that gradient. So I didn't want it to be clashing or anything Plus, like you know, as I said, the colors were quite dark. So they, I felt like they could be just a little bit, um, you know, kind of like disappearing behind there. So... You know, it's, it was just a little bit, lots of fidgeting and figuring it out. Um, I'm using, like I said, the, a mix of all three kits. So those acetate sheets are from the Traveler's Notebook kit. Um, the Happy Day, those little pieces are from the Life Pages kit, I believe. And so are the little word phrases down at the bottom. And... Yeah, like this is basically what I'm doing. I'm not really figuring things out quite yet. So, you know, I, I moved some of those away. Um, I'm going to pop my photo first. I feel like that's what I always do. Um, I know there's, uh, you know, scrappers out there who like to figure their placing before they start sticking stuff down. And I feel like when I do that, I lose the place of where I wanted things. So... I always like to stick my photo down first and then I can start sticking everything around. You know, I don't really like to wait until the end to stick stuff down um, just because, like I said, I, I'll i probably lose the place of where I had it once I, you know, remove it and try to put it all down again. Um, so I always just go for it, you know, you can't have no fear. <laughs> uh, I do have chipboard pieces as well. The kit had some pretty cool chipboard pieces and, you know, all in the same color range that you see here. So, um, the I think the colors for this month, you can see them here basically. There were very, very dark forest greens, very dark navy blues, um, also like orangey colors and almost like browns. Um, and then there were really soft colors like the grays and the bright oranges and those bright reds and pinks so there was a lot of range in colors and it's great because I can use it for uh, you know boy layouts and masculine layouts as you see here and then I could also use it uh, you know for feminine layouts and and softer airy layouts so that was one of the great things about the exclusive Gossamer Blue kits that I loved so much um, you know, there there was a very nice mix of everything, and you know, it was very easy to work with these with these kits. And the part that I liked the most was, of course, the fact that you could use all these kits together. And it's amazing because you really ended up with so many amazing supplies. Um, this week that I am recording, I'm planning to see if I can still catch a warehouse box at Gossamer Blue. Um, I'm really hoping that I do <laughs> can still purchase one, and I hope that they still have a few of them left, you know. Um, I think they still have a few of these August kits, uh, so I will be ordering another set, and 
yeah, you know, I really haven't been using very many of them since these last few layouts I made. Um, but I do plan on, you know, popping in, popping in a, a few pieces of the supplies into my planner and also, you know, in a few layouts in my traveler's notebook. But to be honest, I think I'm kind of hoarding them and I have no shame in that. <laughs> so, um, I'm just working along here. I feel like I'm going really, really slow. It just took me a while. It really, really did take me a while to figure out exactly where I wanted everything to go. Um, we also have some of these uh, phrase stickers. So I'm going to be adding a few of those around. Um, I think this this one says a special moment or special adventure, something like that, you and me. So my title is that that one there at the bottom that says happy day. And I super love that like uh, icon there, that love icon. I think it's like one of the Instagram ones. Um, so happy day. And then I think it says special adventure, you and me. Or yeah, something like that. Uh, and then again, I'm using the chipboard pieces. I added one above at the top that says fantastic. And I like that because it makes that blue pop in the striped paper backing my photo and also, you know, from the gradient paper. And I'm adding a few enamel pieces. We had two sets of enamels uh, this month. There were the circles that you see here in three different sizes. And then we also had another uh, enamel shape uh, paper that came with shapes. So I think those are the ones you see here with circles, hearts, and stars. And they're all in those fabulous, fabulous colors. Such a beautiful range. And I'm trying to see here what else I might need. I don't think I stuck down the top very well, but um, so I'm going to go in and trim a little bit of the white. I actually had some white showing, so I'm just going to go in and do that. Take it off. It happens sometimes. And I decided that I was going to add a few splatters and I didn't actually, after I did this, I actually didn't really like the fact that I did do it um, because I was using, so I had just recently gotten some white, uh, what are these called, Heidi Swap Shine and I don't think I shaked it enough. I think this one literally has to be shook like for ages until everything is perfectly mixed together to get that opaque white. But I really don't think it, it shows very much. Like you guys can see the places where I splattered, but the white is not, it just fades. Like you see how it just starts fading? So I really did not like that. And then I it just kind of looked weird, but um, oh well. I just thought it would really actually show because of my dark papers, but it looks like my paper is just literally absorbing it all. Doesn't look too terrible though. I added a little bit of yellow as well. And that one, again, <laughs> you can't even see it up at the top. At least not in the video, but believe me, you couldn't see it in the paper either. It's just too dark. And I think the next thing I'm going to be doing is adding a little bit of stamping. Here it is, yes. So I did have another stamp set. This one was from the main kit. Yes, it was from the main kit. And there was a bunch of super awesome phrases here. So I can't even remember the phrases that are on there at the moment. But I'm just going to use a few of them and stamp in my three different clusters. So you can see that around my photo I have three clusters. So I have the one here with the happy day. And... Uh, I forget what that one says. I can't even see it. So I'm stamping that there and then I'm going to be adding my journaling under the photo there as well. So that'll be the first cluster. Then I have the cluster up at the top where the fantastic is at and then the little like label there. And then I have the one on the left hand side with the arrow and little moments and it says around town. And so I'm like I said I'm adding just a little bit of stamping to that. And I think the black ink from the stamping kind of really did bring everything together because it just added a little bit of the darkness that my page needed 
to kind of blend in with the paper that I used. And as you can see, you know, most of this layout was created using just one paper. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, it was a gorgeous paper, really gorgeous paper. Uh, the paper itself has like a graph type background to it. Um, so it does have a little bit of detail to it. And I think you can see it here. Like I can tell that there's a little bit of a graphing sort of filter to it, if that makes sense. And again, I love how it just goes from color down to that grayscale gradient. I love it. I love it. So now I'm just trying to figure out what other stamps I could use. Kind of like the arrow there, but at most of it I'm just going to be using from this stamp set here. Again, from the main kit. And there's just a bunch of little phrases there. Each of my little clusters is going to have three stamps. And I think I only add the one under the title because since it has three little levels, I figured that works. That one says on the go. I know one of them says much love. One of them says high five. And I just can't even read the rest. And there's my messy hair. Whoever said that scrapbooking was fabulous. It's not, guys. Most of us, I'm pretty sure, scrap in our pajamas because it's the best way to get it done. Perfect for sun Saturday mornings or late nights. <laughs> and that was my journaling. I like how it just fits so perfectly there. Just wrote a little bit about the day um, that we went to the aquarium and that they were both just looking super adorable and melting my heart daddy and son so here's a close look guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video um i will be trying to bring in still a few gossamer blue uh layouts for you guys and i hope you guys enjoyed i will see you guys all in my next video thanks for watching bye bye